How Aloe Vera Gel Production Works on a Massive Scale Aloe Vera, the ancient wonder plant that has been cherished for its cooling, healing properties for centuries. From soothing sunburns to aiding digestion, aloe vera's benefits have made it an indispensable part of modern health and beauty products. But how does this plant, harvested from the earth, become the gel that rejuvenates our skin and nourishes our bodies? What's the journey from aloe vera leaf to the aloe-based product sitting on your shelf? Today, we're going to take you deep inside the world of aloe vera gel production on a massive scale, revealing the entire process, from the moment the aloe vera leaf is harvested to when it's packaged and ready for use. So sit back and join us as we explore how aloe vera gel is produced in massive quantities, powered by innovation, technology, and nature's gifts. The origins of aloe vera gel production. The story begins in the sun-drenched fields of aloe vera farms, Located in the world's warmest climates, aloe vera thrives in arid regions with well-drained soils. Countries like Mexico, the Caribbean, South Africa, India, and parts of the Mediterranean have become major centers of aloe vera cultivation. These fields produce the raw materials that fuel an entire global industry. Aloe vera plants can take years to fully mature, but once the leaves are ready, they contain rich stores of geel, which is the focus of aloe vera production. From farm to factory, the aloe vera industry has grown to become one of the most important natural product industries globally. The demand for aloe vera gel is skyrocketing, and ensuring the plants are healthy is the first step in guaranteeing a successful production cycle. Harvesting aloe vera leaves. Aloe vera leaves are harvested once they have fully matured, which usually takes about two to three years. During harvest, care is taken to ensure that the plant is not damaged. The leaves are sliced open and packed with the valuable gel inside. But harvesting is not just about cutting a plant. It requires precision. If a leaf is cut improperly or too early, it could affect the gel's quality. Once harvested, the aloe vera leaves are swiftly transported to the processing plants. Speed is crucial here. Fresh aloe vera gel begins to degrade when exposed to air for too long and it's essential to process the leaves quickly to maintain the gel's potency. Transporting aloe vera to the factory. After reaching the processing facility, the aloe vera leaves are stored in controlled environments. Temperature and humidity are carefully monitored to ensure that the gel remains fresh until processing begins. Fresh aloe gel is highly sensitive to temperature changes, and it's essential that the leaves are kept at the right temperature during transport and storage to prevent degradation. Extracting aloe vera gel. The first step. The extraction process is one of the most important stages in aloe vera gel production. After slicing open the leaves, workers use specialized tools and machines to extract the gel. This gel is then collected into large containers where it will be prepared for further refinement. The raw gel is filtered immediately to remove any plant material or impurities. This ensures that only the pure aloe vera gel remains. Even the slightest contaminants could affect the final product's quality. So precision at this stage is crucial. Purification and filtration. Purification ensures that the aloe vera gel remains free from any plant fibers or unwanted particles. Using advanced filtration technology, the gel is passed through multiple stages of filtration to guarantee its smooth, clear texture. The more refined the gel is, the better its properties will hold in the final product. These checks help ensure that the gel remains free of contaminants while maintaining its natural properties, making it ready for use in skin care, medicine, and wellness products. Stabilizing Aloe Vera Gel Fresh aloe vera gel is naturally unstable and can lose its effectiveness if not stabilized. Stabilizers and preservatives are added to the gel to prevent it from breaking down. These ingredients help extend the gel's shelf life without affecting its natural properties. The stabilizing process helps prevent the gel from oxidizing or turning brown. This is crucial for maintaining its clarity and effectiveness. Aloe vera gel must remain in its purest form to ensure the quality of the final product. Aloe vera gel is often used as a base for many products, and that's when the real customization happens. Depending on the end product, the gel is blended with a variety of additional ingredients, essential oils for added fragrance, vitamins like vitamin E or vitamin C for added benefits, and even botanical extracts for soothing properties are commonly mixed with the gel. 
Blending the aloe vera gel with other ingredients creates a unique product that meets the specific needs of consumers. For instance, aloe vera gel might be blended with menthol for cooling effects or lavender for relaxation, depending on the intended use. Quality control, ensuring purity and consistency. Quality control is an essential part of aloe vera gel production. Each batch undergoes several tests to ensure that the final product is pure, safe, and effective. The gel is tested for pH balance, ensuring that it is neither too acidic nor too alkaline. Microbial testing is also done to ensure that the gel is free from harmful bacteria. These quality checks ensure that each batch of aloe vera gel meets industry standards. After all, the last thing any manufacturer wants is for their product to be anything less than perfect when it reaches consumers. Packaging, aloe vera gel, from bulk to bottle. Once the gel passes all quality checks, it's time for packaging. Aloe vera gel is dispensed into containers such as bottles, tubes, and jars, depending on the product. The packaging must be airtight to prevent contamination and preserve the gel's effectiveness. Packaging is not only about protecting the product, it's a vital marketing tool. Products are labeled with branding, ingredients, and usage instructions. Some packaging also features information on sustainability efforts, further connecting consumers with eco-friendly practices. Distribution, global reach. Once packaged, the aloe vera products are sent to warehouses, distributors, and retailers worldwide. The logistics involved in the distribution of aloe vera products are complex and global ensuring that products make their way to stores across continents. From North America to Asia, Europe to Africa, aloe vera gel products are shipped around the world, reaching consumers in every corner of the globe. The efficiency of the supply chain ensures that demand is met with minimal delay, so consumers can access aloe vera products whenever and wherever they need them. Environmental and ethical considerations. With growing concern for the environment, Aloe vera producers are increasingly adopting sustainable practices. Many factories are investing in solar power, water recycling systems, and waste reduction methods to minimize their environmental footprint. Eco-friendly packaging is becoming the norm in the aloe vera industry. Brands are moving toward using recyclable materials, ensuring that aloe vera products can be safely disposed of without contributing to the growing plastic waste crisis. Conclusion. From fields of aloe vera plants to high-tech processing facilities, the production of aloe vera gel is a complex, automated process that ensures consistency, quality, and sustainability. Thanks to these innovative practices, millions of people can enjoy the benefits of aloe vera in their daily routines. Thank you for joining us as we explored the fascinating world of aloe vera gel production. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to subscribe and let us know which product you'd like us to explore next.